The All Ireland finalists 2016 begin their championship journey on home soil, and Mayo look very strong. All star goalkeeper David Clark has been an outstanding form in the league, but he'd be glad to see Jerk Hafferkey start at full back after a year out with injury. Last year's Football of the Year starts at centre back, that's Lee Keegan, while the O'Connor brothers from Ballantubber are at centre and full forward. This is the same Sligo team that started against New York two weeks ago. Pat Hughes was an injury doubt, but starts at full forward. Paddy O'Connor and Adrian McIntyre were a solid midfield partnership, while Mark Brahney at 11 is the longest serving intercounty player at 17 years. Stephen Cohen and Adrian Marin are footballers in form, while Neil Ewing is the Sligo captain. From Mayo, they've been knocking on heaven's door for quite a number of years. Is this going to be their year? Their journey starts now. Sligo go into the attack immediately down towards Stephen Cohen. Played well in the Bronx, New York, two weeks ago. Turns, wind assisted, it's a thing of beauty. It's the start that Sligo needed. They're up and running. Keith Higgins is available, Tom Parsons is there. Coming forward is Colin Boyle, over for his Fergal Bullet. Nice ball inside, into a full forward line that is certainly marked out here as with huge potential. Oh, that is a thing of beauty, Andy Moore. He judges it perfectly. Yeah, nice to stay, start the day off like that. That was a super score. Brendan Egan in his 11th championship season, 35 years of age, to Brehan, to Johnny Kelly, to Lestrade. Doing his Masters in Law in DCU. The kick from way out the field. The umpires are absolutely adamant that that's over the bar, and it is that man again, Stephen Cohn. Colin Boyd, met by a hefty shoulder, I would have thought initially at least, and, uh, and Brendan Egan is rather annoyed with the uh, decision. Anytime you're not Colin Boyd, it's a good day, but I suppose it's in the back, has to be free. Free is taken quickly. It's over for his Kevin McLaughlin. He's going to make up for the point he missed a moment ago from the free. It's over the bar, the sides level for the third time. David Kelly, backing hard, picked up by Paddy Durkin. Sweeps away, Jim and O'Connor, Seamus O'Shea to his right. This is O'Shea, O'Connor has gone inside. Heading towards the 20, make that the 13, shoots! Oh, what a goal! Jim and O'Connor breaks down the Sligo defence eventually. A cracker of a goal. The build-up was superb, the finish simply brilliant. Yeah, great play by Jeremy O'Connor, getting the ball in there. He'd, from this distance, you wouldn't think he's going to get a score, but what a finish. And showing a bit of form that it lacked in the latter part of last season, that's a brilliant finish. Tom Parsons knocks it down for Conor O'Shea, gives it to Jeremy O'Connor. At his shoulder was Paddy Darkin. It opens up for Mayo, here comes the shot! And the ball is wide. Paddy Durkin had options left and right. But to his credit, we dwell on a positive, he had a goal. <laughs> well, I think it was a great counter-attack play there. And Patrick Durkin really can drive at teams. But I think he got caught in two minds, whether to give it across to Killian O'Connor. And what happened is slice off his foot out wide. Killian O'Connor to Fergal Boland. In the centre, Seamus O'Shea. Two options available to his left. Lee Keegan is one of them, survives the first challenge and possibly the second. Gives it to Fergal Boland. And this is sailing between the posts. Good score. Fergal Boland from Ahamore in the county of Mayo. The goal comes to Tom Parsons, who is being fouled, takes the free quickly. Down towards Killian O'Connor, lays it off for Andy Moore in the old double act. Batman and Robin of the County Mayo football side a number of years. Andy Moore puts it over the bar for his second point of the game. Over for his Mark Brahney. Pat Hughes is the target. Gets there ahead of Jerk Cafferkey. Two big strong players. Cafferkey sticks to his task. Not much support for Pat Hughes. Eventually, Charlie Harrison is there. So too is David Kelly. Nice ball inside. There's a chance of a point here and it raises the white flag, thanks to the football skills of Paddy O'Connor. 
into the centre where Tom Parsons is there. Again over for Asperger Boland. Going deep far as Killian O'Connor. Nice little jink by Pete Higgins. Higgins trying to get at the space. Fergal Boland. Higgins has gone for the return. And Fergal Boland wisely takes his point. Second point of the game for the Ahamor man. There's only one man up for Sligo. The crowd players in the middle of the field. In between the 245 metre lines. Here's Keelan Cawley. Back far as Adrian Marin. Floating this one in. David Clark comes off his goal line. Punches it clear. Comes out for as Paddy O'Connor. They need men running in the middle. They don't have them. And Sligo return possession with Niall Murphy. And Murphy turns and sends this over the bar. Good score. Yeah, and Sligo have had opportunities. It's certainly a great opportunity for goal. That's a good score as well. And it's keeping them in this game. Great score by Niall Murphy on his left foot. Aidan O'Shea spreading it wide out for us. Gillian O'Connor. Nice ball. And the finish isn't half bad either. It's one of the moves to the max so far. He's and the go-to guy, isn't he? Kick out from Aidan Giovanni. Eddie Durkin. Toe pokes it. Over for his Connor Loftus. Loftus about to pull the trigger. Passes it in a goal from Bale. Cherry on the cake. As Mayo undoubtedly qualify for the Connacht Championship semi-final. Killian O'Connor won seven in the Connacht final against Sligo two years ago. This afternoon it is now a personal tally of 1-6. Loftus created it, O'Connor finished it. Yeah, and he could have picked that ball off the ground, I'm not so sure. Straight across to Killian O'Connor and obviously he's not going to miss from there. Aidan Devaney going to take the kick out. And the referee, Sean Hurston, blows the full-time whistle. Mayo win the first match of the championship season for them. The journey is up and running. Two goals, one by Dermot O'Connor, another one by Killian O'Connor. It was O'Connor specials, and they go through to play Galway on June 11th in the semi-final. Full-time score in McHale Park, Mayo 214, Sligo 11 points.